I graduated from Chapman University in 2012 with a degree in business administration and an emphasis in entrepreneurship. My company, Open Engineer LLC, is a youth sports organization focused on youth basketball and youth volleyball, and we service young athletes, boys and girls, from ages six to eighteen, and offer a wide range of programs from tournaments to camps to club teams to leagues to training, and operate facilities and all sorts of programs and events with a mission of helping young athletes in their athletic journey. I picked Chapman University for a number of reasons: the the incredible location, the strong academic reputation, the athletic program, and、um, the, the the resources that the, the Chapman business community and alumni network has to has to offer. The、uh, Chapman Entrepreneurship Program and Business School was instrumental in helping me in my my business journey. So I'm very grateful that I made the decision to attend Chapman and take advantage of everything that the community and school have to offer. I received a lot of support from the Leatherby Center at Chapman University.、Um, I really tapped into、um, at all the resources that the program had to offer. I、uh, was a runner-up my freshman year in the uh, business uh, business plan competition, and then my sophomore year, I was able to to win the Chapman business plan competition. And my junior year, I won the、uh, Chapman University Entrepreneur of the Year award. So. That recognition really allowed me to leverage、uh, different mentors,、uh, whether it be professors or advisors, in the Leatherby Center program,、um, and really tap into、um, you know pr- prospective、um, you know mentors and advisors, and just a wide range of resources that the overall kind of network of the Leatherby Center could offer. In, in addition to helping me work through the business. Planning phases of writing a business plan and then building out all the components of leading a small business. I came up with my business idea in a very organic manner. I、uh, was playing basketball as a lifelong kind of sports fan and sports enthusiast、uh, with older siblings who came up playing sports. I was. Uh, like many entrepreneurs, it was more of just a, a natural problem and solution type of approach. I was frustrated with the basketball programs, resources, and facilities that I experienced as a die-hard athlete trying to play basketball at Chapman University. And as my frustration grew, it turned into a laser focus on identifying a solution to the problem. And that's where my company has set out the last 15 years to transform the youth basketball, youth sports experience for young athletes like myself are, are frustrated with the the, the 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 journey to improve and grow as a player. Well, on the on the advice of my Chapman advisors and professors in terms of of funding my small business, I、uh, took a, a bootstrap approach to、um, to 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 moving things along. We do not have any investors as a company. We try to be fiscally responsible in terms of managing our our growth and our balance sheet, and、uh, our we've been fortunate to not have to take on external partners and take a more organic. Bootstrapping、uh, approach to financing our company's growth. My advice for an aspiring entrepreneur is, is is hard work. There's just there's just no substitute. It sounds cliche, but、um, my my journey has been about trial and error. It's been about problem solution and. It's been rooted in,、um, in 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 hard work and focus. I do my best to limit distractions, keep our organization focused on what we're doing, and、um, I think a balance of, of focus and hard work is 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 the the the, the requirement to succeed in building a, a small business, and、um, that's been the case in、uh, my company journey.
The business world is difficult to navigate the, the, the change in economic conditions, the pandemic, uh, inflation, whatever it may be, there's always an external concern on my mind. Um, for me, I've been steadfast in, in, uh, in committing my career to uh, the company that I founded. And, uh, and I don't waver in my, in my commitment to uh, the, the organizations, my team members, and our mission. However, I'd be lying if I didn't admit my, my, my fear and concern over external factors, things out of our control. Obviously, uh, COVID being the, 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 the primary example of, you know, a situation that, you know, shut our, our company down for seven months with zero revenue. Um, so, you know, navigating those challenges is always a concern. But, you know, when you sign up to lead a small business, you accept that, you know, 365 days a year, you're going to be concerned about, you know, what the, you know, external uh, conditions are in the marketplace and how you continue to navigate the company's operations and growth.